An Arizona father has been charged with second degree murder after police say he beat a man who tried to get into a bathroom stall his daughter was using. Melvin Harris is accused of killing Leon Armstrong at a convenience store earlier this month. Carter Evans spoke to members of both families. What do you think your dad was doing that night? Protecting me. Melvin Harris's 16-year-old daughter says she regrets telling her father what happened inside this Phoenix Quick Trip convenience store on August 2nd. Her mother asked that we not disclose the teen's name. Now someone's dead and now everyone's coming at me like I did something to him. According to court records, inside the store, a man entered the women's restroom and tried to get into her closed and locked stall door. Shortly after the teen told her dad what happened, Harris alerted a security guard to, quote, take care of the situation or he would do it himself. Security told him they would handle the situation. Security was like, oh, yeah, we don't play that. That's the third time he did that. We're going to F him up if you don't do it. Harris later allegedly approached the man outside the QT where he punched him in the face, causing the victim to fall, then struck the victim in the face several more times and also kicked and stomped on him. 26-year-old Leon Armstrong died. I don't think anybody can be prepared to hear that type of news that someone just was so cruel. Armstrong's aunt, Kathleen Johnson, says he suffered from schizophrenia. Though he did have some mental illness, he was never uh, a person that was considered a pedophile of any sort. Harris is now facing a charge for second-degree murder. Diana Jackson is his fiance. A guy died here. Yeah. I, I mean, this is really it's, serious. It's sad because... Nobody should have died. She was supposed to be able to go in there, use the restroom, and get her a fountain drink, and go home. All right, Carter Evans joins me now from Phoenix, Arizona, with more on this case. Carter, the Harris family says Melvin Harris was just trying to protect his daughter. The Armstrong family says this was murder. What does law enforcement say? Law enforcement also says it was murder. In this case, they say it was murder in the second degree. There were a lot of witnesses. I talked to police yesterday and say, say they got the, the story from what happened here. And one of the things that they say they're focusing on here is after the first punch was thrown and the victim went down, law enforcement says Harris continued to pummel him on the ground. Well, you mentioned that the security guard said Armstrong has actually tried to break into the bathroom before. Have the authorities mentioned any of, of his history? You, you know, uh, they haven't mentioned anything about any of his prior incidents. However, uh, the daughter, that 16-year-old girl, told us that when she was here that night, the security guards told her that they had had incidents with him at the store earlier that day with the women's restroom and they're wondering why they didn't do something to keep that guy off the property then. And you, I know you spoke to the families on both sides of this case. Uh, is, do they give you anything more to answer these questions? What, what has their response been? You know, I think that there is some remorse on the Harris side right now. I spoke to Harris's fiance. She told me she spoke to uh, her fiance for the first time yesterday since he's been in jail. He does not have an attorney yet. He does not have a public defender assigned. They say he just found out yesterday that the victim died. He had no idea. He thought he just reacted, got in a fight, and was put in prison. He just found out yesterday that the victim had died. Wow. Well, what, what do you think? What's next for Melvin Harris then? Well, the next step is going to be a lot of court appearances, and those are going to be coming up in the future. Uh, it, it, it's going to be a long time, and this has caused a major disruption and a big impact on, on, on not just the Armstrong family, but the Harris family as well. Yeah, so just um, enormous repercussions for this tragic event. Carter Evans, thanks so much. Sure.